All right, and over then to show you Facebook ads, you can actually use the filters to find only winning ads. So let me explain what I mean by winning ads. Uh, maybe 90% or less, maybe 95% uh, of ads on Facebook, they're not winning ads. Uh, you know, anyone who's ever run Facebook ads before will know that in order to find an ad that does very well, first you have to find, you have to, you know, run 10 ads. You have to keep testing, testing what works and what doesn't work. And um, before you can find one that really does work. So the danger is, is if you see an ad for a product on here, um, you might not know if it's doing well or not too well. And the best way to kind of judge by that, just from the Facebook ads, is by how many reactions that it's got. So for example, uh, this ad here is just for a local doctor's clinic. Uh, it's only got 58 reactions. Um, so whoever's winning that ad, they haven't spent a whole lot of money on it. It could be because they're just testing it out, they're trying to see what works and what doesn't work. It could be because it's a small clinic and they don't have a lot of money to spend on ads. Um, but then if I keep scrolling down and then I see this ad here, for example, it's got 19,000 uh, reactions. It's got 1 point, sorry, 6.1 thousand shares. So for it to get that many reactions, for it to get that many shares, and I presume that many views also, I bet it's got tons of views. I'll just see how many views it's got. It's got 3.7 million views in the last three weeks alone. So in order for it to get that many views, whoever's running this ad, they've spent a shit ton of money to promote this ad. And they would, and they would never have spent that money if it wasn't successful, if they weren't making profit. Now, just trying to think back from the ads where, where I've run myself and I've got millions of views, it's it's not cheap. It's a good few grand, you know. For them to get 3.7 million views, it has to be $20,000. Rough estimate. Could be more, could be less. On ads. And there's no way they're going to spend that money if this product's not making money. And it's not a huge brand. It's not like it's Nike just throwing money around like there's no tomorrow. This is from a place called Lemon Shop. So one way to find winning ads is to find the ones which have the most reactions. And that's what this ad does. Is rather than just scrolling down like this, just trying to find it yourself, hoping to find that one winning ad, 4.3 thousand reactions, eh, not bad, not good. Uh, 8,000, a bit better. So rather than just going through it all yourself and just manually checking, you can actually use the extension here to find to find ads that only meet your criteria. So say here you can search to show your only ads with a certain amount of reactions. So let's say you don't want to see ads like this, just a few hundred reactions. You can actually set the extension to only show your ads, for example, with only a thousand with a minimum of a thousand reactions. Uh, same, you can sort by minimum amount of comments. You see this one here has only got nine comments, this one here has got 120. So maybe you'll want to, I don't know, say only see ads with at least 100 comments. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering why we put this in, why there's different types, uh, different types of products have different types of engagements. Um, what we find is the products with hundreds of comments, with loads of comments, they usually like the passion products, you know, products where people seem to think, oh, we must have that. Whereas the ones with the more, you know, with typically more likes, they're perhaps the more like just kind of nice to have, just good to have things. But the ones where people like it really resonates with people and they leave a comment, those usually do particularly well with the right targeting. <clears throat> Again, uh, minimum shares. The reason why you'd want to search for products that people are sharing, well, that's obvious. And it's also the minimum views. Just remember, if you sort by um, ads with at least, you know, a million views, at least two million views, whatever your preference, uh, just know that it's only going to show you videos. So if you use this minimum view counter, you're going to miss out on just regular photo ads like this one here. Or like this one here. You will only see videos. This is just a few small features 
of what this extension can do, it can actually do even more than this and it's still free. There's still absolutely no cost to this extension and it never will be. All these premium features, it's absolutely free. Uh, keep watching to find out more. Scroll down, there's more videos will explain even more features that this can do. Alright, thanks for watching.